Looking for a blow-off move into the close here on Friday, August the 27th. We have the NASDAQ. We're long um, right here at 44.31.25. Looking for 15.500 potentially. Going into the close, we will see if that plays out. This is the only trade right now in the 50K portfolio. Again, this is with six contracts. So don't just ignore this number, the daily PL number right here, because it's based on six contracts. Long from 44.31, so up about $200 per contract. Want to finish the week strong after such a challenging week. And so we will see if we get that blow off move into the close. Uh, Fed Chair Powell spoke today. Want to go over that? Then we'll go over the 200K trades. You can see the it, consistent advanced decline line went up and the market went up. A lot of choppiness early on. Just a blow off rally. The market looked like it was in topping formation the last few days. Uh, worried about what Powell would say about inflation, I guess. And he continues to be dovish. I guess the market considers him to be dovish on inflation. The Fed will taper, but they'll keep interest rates low. So. Uh, the market just saw it as bullish, and you know the market doesn't pull back much at all in 2021, even though we believe it should. Historically, it pulls back more. 2021 is one of those years where it just melts up and melts up and melts up. And so we could see higher and higher prices, looking for 15500 again before the close or early next week. We have two trading days left in the month, and so those can be quite explosive and we shall see if that, that will happen or if we'll sell off here into the close and into the end of the month. Either 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 thing could happen. The ticks are higher on the day as well. The VIX is trading very low. It got slammed. And so let's go over the trades on the 200K portfolio. Stock indexes. We see a big move higher. COVID 3ES hit its profit target. Let's compress that so you can see it better. You can see the trade there. 60-minute breakout is long. Needs another 10 points to hit its profit target. May consider um, going flat over the weekend if you um, are holding that into the close. Um, you could miss a gap up though. If you if it doesn't hit its profit target, if it's close, you might want to go flat. You could miss the gap up. But you know, when your levels this high, there's rarely uh, an upside surprise, and there's more likely a downside surprise with Afghanistan. So one of the reason why I'm posting this early is to potentially uh, close out your over the weekend trades, Cobra. Three long here with four contracts, and so the NASDAQ strategies are long. Energies, Cobra Crude, aggressive down 780 on four contracts, so uh, you know almost 200 down $200 per day, uh, $200 today on that. Round break even in goal with Cobra Gold uh, hitting its 575 profit target, and Asia Gold losing 575. We talked yesterday about how gold couldn't even close above 1800 It uh, up a lot today, up $25. And so I had to close it and reopen that workspace. And soybeans was down the day, losing trade, choppy price action, and went down and right back up. So seen a lot of that in August. Um, those are the trades where we were working on about 2000 Gave back a little bit here going into the close. Let me check the latest. So yeah, of about 1600 per contract at these levels, we will see there are 28 minutes left in the trading day. So we will see if this gives back some or if it rallies more. Uh, you know, would anticipate the market as strong as it's been to move higher, but it could roll over here. So we shall see if it rolls over and, or if it runs and makes these Cobra 3 profit targets. Sometimes before it rallies, it'll sell off and then rally. So a lot can happen in the last 28 minutes. It's been fairly quiet. Afternoon, after the uh, often, as often we times we see once the uh, once the turbulence ends and the bulls get their way, then it's just very um, easy uh, slow uptrend, and so we may see that end of day dip and then rally higher. So we see that often. So watch for that as we go into the close on August the 27th, Friday. Again, two days, two trading days left in this month, Monday and Tuesday. Then we roll into September. I'll post a separate video for all strategy access.